Lene Monet here, and I am back with another video. All right, guys, so today we are at KFC, and I'm gonna be trying their new Buffalo Ranch sauce, because you know I like a little buffalo, and I like a little ranch. So I figured, hey, this is right up my alley. So if you're interested, stay tuned, because we're about to get right into the video. Now, this is where we figure out whether we want to do a chicken sandwich or chicken tenders. It's giving tender, tender. Tender. I don't feel like eating no chicken sandwich, y'all. I just, I think that I'm traumatized from eating just so many throughout the years that I just, it's it's definitely taking a little more out of me to eat a chicken sandwich these days. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie, sweetie. I ain't gonna lie. Hi, how are you? Hello. Um, can I get your chicken strip meal? Three, four, five. I'll take three. Saturday drink. Um, can I get mashed potatoes? And then could I get your um your Mountain Dew with the Buffalo Ranch um remind dipping sauce? That one you gotta remind me of the window. Okay, could I also add pickles? Pickles. We don't have pickles. You want me to give you some pickles? Yes, please. Okay, seven seventy three. Thank you. That's that's what I'm talking about. We don't have pickles. Do you want me to give you some? Well, indubitably, yes, I would like for you to hand it over. Baby, it's giving free 99. And if it's nothing I love more, it's when I ain't got to reach down in my purse. Come on, Erica, because I don't know where that came from. I felt that. You want me to give you? Yes. <laughs> what else y'all got free on that menu? Please, enlighten me, baby. She need a promotion, because the way they'll rip your fingers off to get 25 cents for an extra sauce. It's just that I'm going to give you something. They don't be giving you nothing but a headache. Making your booty hole just curl up and itch to death. I'm sorry, y'all. Mm, 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 mm. I can't wait to meet her. Wait my whole life to meet somebody like her. For a moment like this. Some people wait a lifetime. Come on. <laughs> Thank you. Can I get um buffalo ranch dipping sauce? Thank you. All right. I could just cry. <laughs> Baby, I'm over here rushing because the way they trying to save this daylight, we'll save it then. It's almost nighttime. I gotta hurry up, y'all. Ciao. Save some for me. Could I have a little bit, please? Save a little daylight for me, please. Hold on. What my hand says? A dollar per daisy. Come on! Woo! Y'all don't need no close-up of this. This is some chicken tenders. I'm just going to show y'all like this. So, let me give you a close-up. Y'all, so we got the tender. Ooh. This is nice and fresh. Look at that. But this the sauce right here, y'all. This the sauce right here. This the Buffalo Ranch sauce. Oh, it's nice and bright, y'all. Look at that. Ooh, is it giving what it's supposed to give? A little zip it zip. Zip, baby. Go on and zip, baby, zip. Yes! Wait a damn minute. <laughs> what? Ooh. Ooh. Child, because it tastes like it's been seasoned. Did y'all well season the sauce too? Not adding a little seasoning to the sauce. Y'all, now I done mixed hot sauce and ranch together plenty of times, okay? I'm not new to this, I'm true to this. So I know exactly what notes. Vibrato, if you will. When I say they blended that combination so well where you still can taste the ranch and the buffalo, cause you know, buffalo can be a bit strong. Sometimes when you mix it with stuff, it just be taking over, baby. No, this a keynote speaker right here, okay? A good blend. I can tell when people been gathering. They getting along up in here. Okay, fellowshipping. Becoming one with one another, brother and sister. Woo! It almost, girl, oh, a word was 
coming. Come on. Woo, gather around the congregation. Come on. Don't you dare play with this French buffalo sauce because it is not watered down. You hear me? Let me add a pickle. Ooh, I ain't asked for these. Baby, she didn't give me pickles for me not to use. Hold on. Mm, giving out free stuff. Look, and then a lot. Not two. Not three. Several. Ooh, bless her. Bless her. <laughs> ah! And you lay it on there like. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You lay that pickle on there like that? A little tender appetizer? You do a little dip it dip? Hold on, dip it dip like that? Ooh, ooh, ooh. It could all be so simple. Erica, now Lauren, a word? It's too much going on up in here. Mm. Let me tell y'all a secret. Let me tell y'all a secret. I learned that chicken tenders and pickles go good together from my, what my subscriber favorite meal is from KFC. She told me to get the Nashville hot tenders. They automatically give you pickles. So I ain't know nothing about that. I ain't never seen that. And I ain't never did it, right? And then she told me to get some honey and Cause y'all know I like a little drizzle, drizzle. So I had drizzled it like that. That was the motion. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting good at it. I'm perfecting my crave, right? And so ever since then, I can't eat chicken tenders without pickles. And I mean good pickles. These are quality, grade A pickles. These pickles had both of their parents. You could tell raised in a good household. You know what I'm saying? Sent them off to do amazing things in life. And that's how they turned out. Amazing. Can't be no mediocre pickle. You got to get the pick of the lid, okay? Peter Piper didn't pick the pickles for no reason. Or was it the peppers? Don't worry about it. Don't get too involved. Don't get too involved. Y'all. This right here. This for, oh, wait a minute. I'm supposed to be telling y'all something. Hold on. My bad, y'all. I know y'all probably waiting for me to announce who are the four winners of my 30K giveaway. But I wouldn't dare announce the winners so early. Okay, I got to give y'all time. So please, if you haven't already, then you need to go back to the other video where I was at Arby's doing the Diablo challenge and get the rules and regulations so you can participate. Like I said, I'm gonna pick four winners. It will be announced this Sunday. When I drop that video on Sunday, Y'all better be eyes and ears, eyes and ears. That's all I want, eyes and ears, eyes and ears. Okay, cause you need to be seeing and you need to be listening to what's going on up in that video. Cause I'm gonna announce who won my 30K giveaway. Once again, I can't thank y'all enough for giving me this. It wouldn't be possible without you, baby. I can't get myself there. I'm only one, I'll be one like, okay? One subscriber, just me, myself and I. That's all I got in the end. That's what I found out. I needed you and I wanna show you that I appreciate you. So make sure you enter because you just never know you don't know but this sunday like i said i'll be doing announcement let me take a little another bite mm -hmm. y'all the creaminess of this is ridiculous it's spot on where it still has the creaminess of ranch if you get you a good ranch you can get some grade a ranch with a good creamy consistency you know what i'm saying smooth with it okay uh, original og is what you're gonna get you mix it with the right amount of buffalo sauce baby you got yourself a winner winner chicken tenner dinner come on mm. mm. y'all that's fire right there that's fire right there this that's black that's that's black right there mm, something to drink mm-hmm Mm-hmm, a little something to drink. Yeah, who that man back there? Who are you? Reveal yourself. <sighs> it's always too good to be true. You can't never just, you can't never just, I can never just be happy. This seem a little bit more sturdy, but it's still a paper straw. Why? See me up there 
on cloud nine and rip me down. Just rip me off that cloud like that with this paper straw. My lip getting stuck because I got on lip gloss. I never had these type of problems with plastic straw. My lip never got stuck to no straw, to no plastic straw. Puckering up every time I got to take a sip, baby. I didn't ask for that. Whew. All right, y'all. Well, look. I'm going to head out. But before I do, let me tell you this. Change the way you look at your life and you can change your situation. If you stop focusing on all the things you feel like you can't do or don't know or don't have the right tools to do, then you'll always be stuck in the not right now. Not right now. When I'm ready. But you don't even understand that ready is too late. Ready is too late. When you're ready, it's too late. Let that marinate real quick. There's people who's doing it when they not sure, when they don't know what's going to happen next, when they ain't got nothing to their name, they willing to bet it all because the way that they perceive their life and what they want for the future surpasses anything else in the way. All that other stuff don't matter because I see what I want. If you got a vision, if you got a dream, if you got something that keep you up at night and you can't think about nothing else, all the other stuff that you think, because a lot of times we think these things are in our way, you got to change your stinking thinking and begin to pour into yourself and say, look, why would I have these visions, these thoughts, these things that keep me up at night thinking about them nonstop if I wasn't supposed to have it? If something is keeping you up at night and all you can think about is that particular thing and doing that, why don't you think that you can get it? It's on your mind for a reason. Thoughts like that don't haunt you unless you're supposed to be pursuing it. You are more than capable of accomplishing the same things you see people doing the things you want to do. There was nothing different about them outside of the fact that they saw their life in a certain way and they did everything in their power to accomplish just that. All right, y'all. Well, with that being said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Also, hit that notification bell so you'll know every time I upload. Until next time, guys. Peace.